Welcome back to AM Northwest. When it comes to treating chronic pain, there are some common questions that many patients ask. Here with the answers, we welcome back from Pain Relief Partners, nurse practitioner and owner, Stephanie Jones. Good to have you with Thank us. Thank you. Yeah, this was an interesting question. I'll just get right into the questions. Okay. One is, why do you use Wharton's jelly as a stem cell source instead of bone marrow or fat? Yes, good question, and we get asked that a lot. Yeah. And Wharton's jelly comes from the umbilical cord, so it's that oh. cushion inside the cord that makes it so the cord can bend and flex okay. in utero, and it doesn't cause any damage. And that is just full of life. It's what supplies nutrients from mom to baby, right. and it's the youngest ethically available source of stem cells. So it comes after a live cesarean de delivery. That's when it's collected, right. so there's no risk to baby or mom. And those cells, because they're so young, have a really long telomere. And if you think back to science class, telomere is like the eyelet on the end of a shoelace. And the younger the cell, the longer the telomere. And each time the cell replicates or reproduces itself, that telomere yeah. gets a little bit shorter. So if it's really long to start, it has many cycles that it can replicate and reproduce before it dies wow. off. As, and, and how do you do the treatment? Well, are people sedated? Nope. We don't have to do anything like that. It's actually a really straightforward treatment. I want imaging studies so I can see where in the neck or the back or the joint space that's going to need to be treated and then those I'm, are probably the most common areas the yes, neck and the back okay. very common we yeah. also treat a lot of neuropathy so, right you know I'm just feeling for the tissue in the area where there might be muscle guarding and tenderness around say a herniated disc and if I'm treating in a spinal area I'm actually treating right into the muscle along the edge of the spine so I'm not going anywhere near the spinal cord or I'm not going to worry about hitting the disc and that allows me to deliver the tissue really safely to the area of treatment and then there's all sorts of things in the tissue that allow it to know where to treat and what to tell your body to do. Is there anything that patients have to do after treatment? Just rest and it's yeah. a much different recovery than say for a surgical recovery. In this case we want you to take it easy for 10 to 14 days. You can still go check the mail or go to the grocery store but we just want you to rest and allow that time for the cells to communicate because right. they're really instructing your body how to heal oh. and within 30 days you can get back to full activity, full way of life and that last two weeks of the first month is just a gradual increase of activity. But level. about 30 days is when you see the results you think? It depends. Some yeah. patients see results pretty quickly and say a knee patient who has knee arthritis and there's a lot of swelling, they may find a lot of relief within a few days to a few weeks. A patient with neuropathy, it could be several months before they see relief oh, right. because it takes a long time for nerves to grow. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Do you ha do you have the patient go through any blood tests or anything? Like what do they do before? No, they don't need to, which is the beauty of Wharton's jelly. It is a donated tissue, but there's none of the biological markers present in the tissue that would cause an immune response. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you think about an organ and tissue donation, we don't have to type and cross blood or match tissue because none of those immune factors are present in the Wharton's jelly so the body can't reject it. Wow. So All very right. easy for the patient. And you have a number of seminars where mm -hmm. people can ask questions like these and many others. Mm -hmm. There's one August the 28th that uh, at noon, right, mm -hmm. at Chuck's Produce, mm -hmm. which is in Vancouver. Yes, so okay. I'm giving that one next week. And do you have people ask questions? We do. Yeah. So, you know, I present a lot of information. The seminars are about an hour long, and either Dr. Kessinger or myself present those, and we cover a lot of details. And then at the end, I'm happy to ask questions or answer questions. Right. Usually I'm answering those throughout the presentation. But, you know, I've had times where I spend 45 minutes with people afterward just wow. answering the questions that they have. And then you had one September 7th, and that's in Redmond, Oregon? Yeah, it's okay. Boomerama in Central Oregon. And Boomerama is a big senior expert really focused on health and so this is our second year going there and we're the gold sponsor there so we get an opportunity to present a seminar at the expo. That's great. Well we'll put all the information for you on our website. Pain Relief Partners located on Southeast 131st in Vancouver 360-975-4680. We'll put all that on K2.com. Stephanie thank you very much. Good to see you again.